First, let's take a look at habits. The things that we do unconsciously and the things we do consistently. There was a Duke University study that found that 42% of everything we do during our waking hours is habitual. That means almost half of everything we do from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed is on autopilot, is on cruise control. Our behaviors that we have grooved the pattern for that now give us comfort. And in order for you all to continue to be the high performers that you are, to continue to be the Kobe Bryants in the printing world, it's so important that you fill your bucket with as many positive habits as you can. See, I've already established that you guys are the Kobe Bryants of what you do, which means I have a very important question to ask each and every one of you. Are you a high performer because of your habits? Or are you a high performer in spite of your habits? Are your habits adding value and taking you closer to the person you're trying to become? Or are they crippling you and hindering you and moving you in the wrong direction? Some of you might be brimming with so much talent that you can get away with having a few negative habits, but we want to make sure we get everything in alignment so that you can become the leaders that you're capable of. So the very first actionable takeaway, and we don't have time to do this now, but we will have a little bit of time during my breakout session to unpack this. So you may just want to write these notes down. This is going to be a self audit that I want to encourage each and every one of you to do over these next few days while you're all together, but then even take a few more days after this and really reflect. In one area of your notes, and here's the way that I would do it. I would just take a piece of paper and I'd draw a line straight down the middle. And on the left side, I want you to generate an exhaustive list of the things, the activities that fill your bucket. The activities that light you up, that make you smile, that give you confidence. Things that when you do these things, you simply feel more alive. Now these can be things for your physical well-being. Could be hopping on your Peloton bike or taking a yoga class or going for a run on the beach. These could be things more uh, for your mental well-being. Reading a book, listening to a podcast, watching a documentary. These could be things for your emotional well-being like meditation or prayer or having a really connected conversation with a loved one. But whatever it is, I want you to come up with a list of the things that fill your bucket, light you up, and make you feel alive. Then on the other side of the notes, I want you to script out how you've been spending the bookends of your day. How have you been spending the first 60 minutes after you wake up and the last 60 minutes before you go to bed? And I realize that every single day of the week is is not identical that your Sunday and your Wednesday may look a little bit different. But don't forget that Duke study that says almost half of what we do is habitual, which means I promise you, because we are creatures of habit, you have started to groove some behaviors and patterns. I'm willing to bet that what you do most Sunday evenings and what you do most Wednesday mornings, there's been a pattern that's created. And I want you to get kind of granular in looking at that. And then to complete the self audit, I want you to compare the two sides of the paper, the two sets of notes. And I want to see, or more importantly, I want you to see, are you doing the things that you know you need to do in order to show up every single day as your best self? So you'll have to realize as leaders, every single person in your life, personal and professional, this includes your spouses and your children, members of your community, and certain everybody on your team with Alpha Graphics. They are expecting and counting on you to show up as the best version of yourself every single day. You owe it to them and you owe it to yourself to show up every day with your bucket full, mentally, physically, and emotionally. And the only way that's possible, it won't be done haphazardly, is it is done with intention and with purpose by making sure that you are implementing the things from list number one into list number two. Now, if you do this with some transparency and some humility, you'll most likely start to find what's called a performance gap. And that is the gap between what we know and what we do. A performance gap is literally the gap between what every single one of us knows we should be doing and what we're actually doing. And for you all to continue to raise your game and to level up and continue to be the high performers that you're capable of, you have to start closing that gap. You need to make sure, because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your team, you make sure that you are finding time and making time to implement things from list number one into your morning and your evening routine.